Hello! In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my box drum enclosure. Since I did a last tour, a lot has happened. It's been probably like a four or five months here. I'll pop a, I'll pop a screenshot of it on the screen right now. So, it's been quite a while since I've done one. And I've gotten some new stuff that I just want to show you. So, uh, yeah. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so right there in my room, there's a shelf, and on that shelf is my box drill enclosure. So first, let's look at the top stuff. So up here, I have two lights. I have a 75 watt heat bulb and a 10.0 UVB. Those are crucial to turtle, turtle health. And if you know anything about box drills, you know that um, if you don't have those two lights, they can get a whole lot of shell problems, health problems, and they won't be able to digest their fruit properly. Also, I have some turtle statues right here. That scale turtle and that sea turtle. Right here, I have a picture of uh, just a box turtle, and then behind that, I have a bucket that I use for maintenance. Okay, so the actual enclosure itself, it's a 24 inch by 18 inch by 12 inch. Um, which makes, I think, a 29-gallon or 30-gallon tank. So it's not a 20-gallon. I just say that because it's easier than saying, you know, like 29. But, uh, yeah, it's, a, I think, a 29-gallon Exoterra. You open it right here. There's a little latch. You open it up. And uh, right here, there's a plant. And then underneath that, there's a half log height. And that's where Leo is right now. I don't know if you can see her shell, but um, she's hiding in there right now. Right here, I have a food bowl. Right next to that, that thing right there is called a cuddle bone. And it gives your turtle good sources of calcium. And it helps grind down their beak. Because turtles can get overgrown beaks. And that can um, cause issues for when they eat. So scatter on the enclosure, I just have some rocks. Um, those are help for grinding down their nails because once again box turtles nails can get too long and that can just you know Make them have a harder time walking <clears throat> Right here. There's a new water bowl if you watch my last um, Update video you'll see I'll have a, I have an old water dish. I'll actually put that video in the link description if you want to see The difference between this setup and the old setup right next to that. I have a piece of slate rock on beneath the two basking bulbs um, <clears throat> that warms up and it's a nice place to feed Leo superworms which is what I did in my last video and then the substrate on this is just um, recti bark I find it's really good for holding humidity and um, and uh, it's just good for digging it there's space in between it so your box trail can still breathe while they're actually underneath the substrate and it allows them to dig, and um, it's really good. I, I really highly recommend it. And then over here, I have a spare water dish. And then you might have noticed on the side, I actually have construction paper, just colored paper. And that's to help block out the walls. And that's to minimize stress among my turtle so that she feels more safe. So, yeah, that's mostly it um, in my box turtle enclosure. But, uh, yeah, so a bit of a shorter one, but I thought I just might make it to update you. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye.